Everyone, Reminex here, and we're going to be uh, oof, just trying this new team out uh, with Sharon Carter and with uh, Captain Falcon. We're going to take them into these nodes uh, in the skill lane and determine once and for all uh, if their value is there. So one thing you're going to find is uh, when I select them, I did bring them up a little bit here. Obviously, I have to spend some cores and energy to get this done for you guys today, the bio node. Um, and uh, pushing the content here so, uh, cost me a little. So we're going to build the team they suggested with one exception. We're going to take Amora Moon Dragon off. We're going to leave Night Nurse on, Nick Fury. All right, you'll see that my uh, Captain America Sam now is four red, four star. And if you look at my previous video, uh, you'll see that the stats are uh, comparable here. Uh, and um, more importantly, we're going to be adding Nick Fury and Sharon Carter. Uh, so this is the team we're bringing in. And so stand by. Um, we'll show you Sharon is four star, four red as well. So um, how can, how will they do on these, these nodes? Well, this first node isn't that difficult. The scaling on this, and this is the difficulty 1.1 raid. This is the ramped up difficulty. So I'm going to make myself disappear in a second. So you guys get a better uh, shot at all this. One sec. So we can see the abilities as we use them. All right. So right off the bat um, with this, we're going to have the extra summons to, so that when we bring in uh, Kestrel, we'll have the extra attacks from this so they can ping the targets with the defense down. Um, real quickly, since we used an early ability here, uh, you'll see this has the early energy. We'll go ahead and just, just throw the ult up to see how much damage it does. And so the, there is the power of the team already. So already they're just working them down. You'll see I have uh, some selections for ISOs on these characters. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to be focusing on control uh, uh, for them. Uh, and so, again, that's a big energy build. We're going to go ahead and use this now. Get that offense up around the team. Again, the idea is you're going to be giving this team offense up quite frequently and then controlling them, right? Get some energy back for the squad. All right, and so pluck that offense down off and then just bring his rewind back. Stun him, maybe. Stun him, finally. Kill him. And there it is. So first node down. Uh, I'm not sure we have all the cooldowns here. looks like we're going to be a little bit behind uh, when it comes down to the next node uh, for just overall effectiveness. Okay, this next node is where it gets a little more difficult. This is where it ramps up because of the fact that you have uh, characters who could easily exploit the weakness of a team uh, if they're coming in from behind. The idea is Taskmaster and X-23 are both phenomenally powerful and can decimate the uh, opponent pretty, pretty quickly if they don't recover fast. And so this team will have some tools that will hopefully get them through this. So first things first, um, You'll see Nick Fury has all of his abilities up now because the summons can really uh, amplify with X-23. We're going to go ahead and do and do that right away. Uh, just because I want to get um, Strange out of the way uh, as soon as possible, we're going to just try to get him out of, out of here as soon as possible. Uh, and then right away, um, we're going to just pop a stun. And that lands. It was a concern earlier. Okay, then we're going to go right in here. And unfortunately, this is going poorly. But can they recover without Kestrel? The answer is probably. And 
so right off the bat, ability block, turn rewind. So her heal, her ult will come in super handy right now. Again, clearing that off that buff, which especially is taunt here. Coming in and we're going to rewind and slow. Slow here. We're going to still be able to be in control. All right. There's that taunt, extra energy going back out. Will that be enough to get this done? Keep these guys healed up here. So even without Kestrel, will they be able to recover on this node? And so far, the amount of control that Sharon Carter can add to a team is exceptional. Being able to rewind time is something that we found amazing value in other characters that did that for their teams. And unironically, it's paying dividends again. And so... Will we be able to recover in time, get enough energy for the next match? We'll find out in a second. All of her abilities are significantly powerful. You'll see the double tap with the rewind here. We're going to go ahead and see if she gets called for that ability. She does, and then her assist rewinds Deadpool. Minute left. Let's see if we can get this done. And just pure control. So, one of the hardest nodes in the game without one of the best characters in the game. And they are absolutely just demolishing it without the power of... So the worst possible way it could have gone. And the team is fully recovered. So that, to me, is a win here. All right. So the next node will obviously provide Kestrel for the boss and then see if we can play it out correctly. So now comes the real challenge. Can this team challenge the boss node? 1.1, Moondragon and Gamora were ripping through the boss relatively easily. So this is the begs the question, you know, if we obviously sub out Maria Hill for uh, Night Nurse, will this team become even better? Hopefully we're giving you a picture of what this will look like for you. Again, remember, four red on, and four star on both Sharon and on Captain Falcon. All right, some extra targets out here to enable a little bit faster here. And we'll go ahead and get some more speed. Got to pluck some important abilities off here. Rewind Doom because we can. Slow on Mystique, if we possibly can. Try to take out our, our friendly neighborhood Cyclops, the worst dad in all the Marvel Universe. 
There's a crit getting some energy. Night Nurse might be a little bit of trouble, but at least she can reflexively heal here uh, if uh, the right conditions are met. Here we go, give her a death proof. Let's go ahead and start in. Okay, taunt. All right, now the biggest, now this is the biggest thing right here. We're gonna uh, ability block him for one turn. Oh, but he resisted. And this may be all she wrote, guys. Oh, there's the assist from Sharon Carter. And that turn rewind and that slow. Will our slow uh, work in our benefit here? It's going to be interesting. There's the turn rewind. Oh, we got Doom down. Let's start it up. I'm gonna get to work, Kestrel. Oh, and there goes Night Nurse. Maybe not. Maybe we can save her. There may not be saving anybody else here. All right. There's that taunt. Problem is we have a taunt on Night Nurse, and that's going to take her out. We're going to go ahead and stun. Hit an auto, but just let him do some work. Yeah, I feel like without... I feel like the biggest problem is uh, without... Um, Maria Hill, I think we're missing some of the synergy here. Obviously, they're doing some amazing work now um, on auto. I mean, the big difference we have is the fact that we can at least get Falcon into stealth. Um, you know, the big heals that come from um, Moon Dragon are obviously missed here. Uh, but this is no easy feat, the fact that they're still um, working on, on this node, uh, despite some early uh, difficulty. Again, this is a one-shot from uh, some of the other characters, the other power crep characters that have entered the game uh, recently. So I want you guys to be aware that that is... This is a little disappointing, uh, considering the... Um, the health from these characters. Obviously, I'm I'm really pleased with Sharon Carter's control element here. I mean, the fact that she has the control, the stun, and the ability to rewind time is going to bring some additional value. Um, but again, considering this is the final node in the game, we're bringing in a 500k team when most of uh, mostly I'll be recommending 600k teams for this. Realistically, for the 1.1 raids, if you're going to start doing it. Um, you're going to have a significant investment level. So we're going to be taking these guys into some additional content tonight. Uh, but at the end of the day, a um, couple misplays probably in there. I probably should have just uh, understanding their, their power level and their, their damage. Um, that's where we're at with this. So uh, final, final evaluation is surprisingly Falcon was able to tank when he needed to. The heals are a bit of the problem. I feel like they just don't have the synergy uh, to keep Falcon up at this point. But I don't even have him at G15, and we'll be revisiting this uh, going forward. All right. I do things that you don't have to. And I'm I'm building these guys up a little more gradually to showcase them in the endgame content. Hopefully you guys learned something from watching this, and we will catch you on the flip side.